I'm gonna do a cold weather package B installation. It's uh, about 35 degrees out, I think. It's snowing slightly, and I really wanna get these bees in. I've had them for a while, so I wanna get them in. So what I'm gonna do is put them in a five frame nuke box. Five frames here. This has a wheel that I have a big hole that I'd have there so I can turn this to, so I can move them easily later on. So a person could do this in their garage, and the bees don't have to leave at all. You could just um, do it any place that's even kind of warm and leave them in there and put the bees in. And in a five frame nuke box, you have to consider that the package bees are not gonna get any bigger for almost 28 days. They'll, they'll uh, actually go down in population a little bit. But in that time, you could leave them in there for a month and they can heat it easier, there's less uh, stress on them, and they can take the cold much better. Now to do this, I just have, I have four frames of foundation and uh, empty hives, but I do have one hive I got from, one frame I got from my, one of my hives. It does have a little pollen in it right there. So what I'm gonna do to help this with this installation, I have some sugar water in this spray bottle and I'm gonna spray this in the cells of this comb so that when I put the bees in here, then I will be able to, um, they'll have a lot of food to eat and they can make heat and their survival rate is just about guaranteed. I also have the inner cover that I'm gonna put on and a feeder pail that I'm going to put on top of that and uh, the box and the telescoping cover to cover it. So all you do with this, this uh, spray bottle just spray it, just go around all the cells so that when the bees get on here, all of a sudden you'll put a couple, a couple pounds of syrup in the cells and they'll be able to rise up on both of these frames, have syrup to eat, and they'll be able to produce enough heat to keep the colony going. So it's putsy, but it takes a little while, but if you person wanted to, you could load this whole frame up with syrup. Really easy. We're going to do our cold weather installation here now and uh, have the bees in here warming up the hive. So what I'm going to do is I'll dump the bees in with no spray. It would not, you can't use any spray when it's cold out. And I'm not even going to spray the queen. I'm not going to use a marshmallow. I'm not going to do any of that. So what I'm going to do is after I dump the bees in, I'm going to take the queen cage right here. And I'm going to keep the queen warm, but then when I'm ready to put it in, all I'm going to do is get the inner, co inner cover on there and have it right near the edge. So when I do this, I'm going to watch the queen, make sure she's walking away. I'm going to take the cork and stop if she comes back. Then I'm going to pop this cork out when she's walking away and cover it with my finger. Then I'm going to push the inner cover back and then I will um, watch the queen when she's walking away from the hole. I'll put it in real fast, push, this, push the frames together, and then put the cover on she'll walk right out. But she won't be any stressed with any wa uh, cold sugar water or anything. So I think we are ready to do it. I have both, all of my openings are closed on my uh, nuke here. And we are putting in a three pound package. So I put the box in here it's warm it's out of the wind and it's warming up that one frame of syrup that we squirted with, with syrup so if I lift this up and out you see the bees are clustering 
Uh, about two hours ago, I did spray the screen a couple times just to try to get more food in the bee's belly, and then I let them uh, lick themselves dry for a good hour and a half before I put this in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna knock them down. See, they're all down like that. Queen's in the cage right there, right there. So we're gonna take out the feeder can. They may fly a bit, but because they've been inside and they're kind of warm, but if we lose a few, we don't care. The big picture, most of them are gonna make it. So I'm gonna take the queen out of there. Make sure she's alive. I looked earlier. Queen's alive. That is a carniolan, black abdomen, carniolan queen. And this is a California mini cage. There's no candy in this. So I'll put her in my pocket. Keep her warm and I'm gonna just dump the bees in here. And with a three pounder, I'm gonna re probably really fill this nuke up, but I really like the idea of the cold weather that they can keep everything warm and their survivability is a lot better when it's cold out. It was snowing here about 15 minutes ago. So then I'm gonna just take my hive tool and flip them around and spread them out across the, the bottom board so when I put these frames in, I won't squish them. I'll put my my one frame with syrup in the middle, because that's where my feeder pail is going to be. I'll stick my empty frames on either side of that. And you can see the bees have found that syrup. They're all licking that syrup. And they're going to be able to make a bunch of heat and keep this very warm. And, and, uh, and their survival is just about guaranteed here. So that was no syrup, no uh, spray. And then I take my inner cover. I also have a pollen patty. They're gonna need pollen when they start making brood. So I'll have that pollen in there. And I push all the frames kind of snug together. And then, uh, so I got the queen in my, in my pocket. Keep her warm, out of the wind. I have a nail, I can find the nail. I have a nail to pop the cork out. So I get this ready, I'm gonna put the queen cage right there. And I see bees right there, they're gonna be on her to keep her warm. So I'm gonna, when she's walking away, Pop that cork out, put my finger over the hole because she's fast, she'll fly out of there. So then what I'm gonna do is I'll watch her and she's up on that end. I'm gonna let her turn around once more and then when she goes back up, there she goes, I'll just put it in there, push the screen together. She's still right there, I see her. Do that, put my feeder pail on. Snap the cover on the feeder pail first. There we go. Operator error. Just a box to cover the feeder pail. That's it. I'll check them for queen acceptance. It's supposed to be in the 60s in a few days, so it'll be easy to do it. They're in here for, they won't get any bigger for 24 to six days. Perfect way to do it. You can do it in your garage. You can do it uh, outside in a, in a shed, any place. They're all locked in here. There's a few, you're gonna lose a few that are flying around, but that's a small price to play. So it works really good. And uh, I expect them to be uh, in great shape uh, for a good honey harvest this year. as it starts to snow again.